To get this project started, what you will want to do is have a towel. I chose this towel from Target. It was $4.99. And you will also want to have some fabric quarters um, or just any kind of cotton material. All right, dolls. So what you will want to do is to cut your cotton material and your towel up into pieces. One bath towel, one full bath towel is able to give you six burp cloths, okay? And if you get the fabric quarters, which are 18 inches by 21 inches, then they will allow you to get two burp cloths out of them. My measurements for my burp cloths are 9 inches wide, 21 inches long, okay? So those are the measurements. Um... As you can see, they are a rectangular shape. And um, once you have your pieces, the next thing you will want to do is just simply go ahead and um, I ironed out my cotton material to make sure that any wrinkles from it being folded uh, gets taken out. Once you have those two pieces, the rest is a breeze. Now what you will want to do is just place them evenly on top of each other. You can either pin them or um, just lay the pieces together and just simply sew all the way around. Now, I like to start from the middle of my fabric and sew all the way around and leave um, about two inches open. Make sure that you leave that open so that you can um, reverse it. So. When you lay your material down, make sure that the printed side or the right side is facing down. So you want to have the right side of your printed material facing down. The towel hasn't the, the towel doesn't really have a good or bad side. So just make sure that when you lay the materials on top of each other that you are sewing with the right side down because you have to flip it so that when you flip it, it'll be right side out. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back. All right, guys. So I'm at my sewing machine. I have my um, sewing machine set and ready to go. I'm using white thread. You can use any thread of your choice. I'm just going to use white because this thread you're actually not even going to be able to see because, again, you're going to have to flip your project. So these stitches you actually won't see. My seam length is going to be one fourth of an inch when I sew all the way around. Don't forget to back stitch when you first start your stitch. So when you first start, don't forget to back stitch. And then when you come back around, once you get to that two inch wide opening that you're going to do, back stitch on that side as well so that it doesn't come apart when you go to flip your uh, project around. Alright guys, so I have sewed all the way around and I got back to where I started the project. Remember, leave about 2 inches wide. Um, back stitch when you start and back stitch where you end. So that when you flip this open, those stitches are still strong, okay? So I'm going to take this off of my machine and just flip it right sides out. Alright guys, so I actually started flipping mine um, right side out and totally forgot what you will want to do, and it's probably really hard for you to see mine because I stitched in white. I guess for purposes of the video, I should have stitched in a color. Um, but what I did was I went and clipped any extra material next to my stitches. So as you can see, the stitches right here, any extra material. So I clipped as close to my stitches as I possibly could. And that's just going to um, make your work look a lot neater when you flip it and you won't have like any extra uh, materials and things that you need. So just go ahead and clip any extra material um, that is close to your stitches. Don't clip your stitches. Alright love, so now what you will want to do is flip your project over. Um, so now you have your materials right side up and um, here's your towel on the other side and you just want to take your uh, iron and press your wrinkles and everything out and then for the seam that was left open that two inch um, opening what you're going to do is just simply take and fold it over and pin it 
because now what you're going to do is go to your sewing machine you can do a straight stitch all the way around I actually like to start on the side where the opening is and that's so that we can close this up um, you can do a straight stitch all the way around you can do a twin needle straight stitch all the way around um, if you have any quilting stitches on your sewing machine like I do um, then you can do a decorative stitch all the way around so I'm actually going to do a decorative decorative stitch all the way around my burp cloth and um, I don't know which stitch I'm gonna use yet I'll let you guys know and I'm also going to use some embroidery thread when I do that this is an example of what um, embroidery thread looks like it's just like really shiny and um, it just adds a nice touch to your decorative stitches and lets them pop um, I think I'm going to, I don't know what color I'm going to use. I would have loved to use orange, but I do not have any orange thread and, um, I'm not sure whether or not I feel like waiting to go to Joann's and pick up some, but just any thread that you would like. I like to use the embroidery thread when I'm doing decorative stitches and, uh, that's it. So I'm going to get this started and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get done. Alright guys, so I'm done with my stitching. I chose this and I did do the orange all the way around. It's not perfect, but that's what helps give it that nice little uh, homemade feel to it. But also I did allow my daughters to help a little bit with the stitching. Only because it's a gift for their little cousin. And you know, it's just that's just a great way to allow the kids to get involved with crafts where it doesn't need to be... Um, crazy precise or anything like that at this point your burp cloth is completed here's another one um, that I made and I think I am going to go ahead and do one for each of the alphabet that's a lot but <laughs> yeah I just think that it just is such a cute little fun touch to have you know um, the mom can use it either side the towel side the cotton side it doesn't really matter this one also has the yellow um, towel and the purpose of the yellow towel the reason why I chose that was just simply because when the child vomits on the burp cloth most of the time it leaves like a yellowish stain and most burp, burp cloths have a white background so to just try to conceal that a little bit better I use the yellow towel instead of like any white um, or anything like that and um, you can just get really creative with these you can do some iron on appliques make your own all kinds of things just make sure that it has that nice little home um, made feel to it. it doesn't have to be crazy perfect again like I said this was a project I was able to allow my daughters to help me with and um, just you know just have fun with it it's really simple it's definitely a a beginner friendly project and I hope you dolls enjoyed it until next time have a gorgeous day dolls smooches Mwah. bye